This video is about what's in our church bag. Um, we have eight kiddos and they all sat with me um, during worship and um, I have three little ones that I mostly pretty much focused on, on, um, you know, just kind of keeping them um, quiet and, you know, trying to listen to the pastor um, and just making sure that they aren't um, being too loud and hopefully listening to what he's saying. And um, so, so I had somebody ask me if I brought a church bag, if I did, what I brought in it. Um, I do. That's what this bag is right here. And um, I swap them out every couple weeks. If something isn't working or it's too loud or they're not interested anymore, I will swap it out for something else. I try to change it up every couple weeks or so. And um, sometimes just to keep things fresh and new or exciting or, oh, wow, I, you know, I haven't seen that in a while. I think I'm going to play with that. Um, and, and if it ends up being too loud, then I'll just know next time, hey, I remember that was too loud and and we need to bring something just a little bit quieter. So now I'll show you what I haven't cleaned it out. I try to clean it out every Saturday night before we get ready for church. And I haven't cleaned it out yet, so I'll show you what we had last Sunday for church um, in our bag for the little ones to do. <laughs> I have a almost a one-year-old, a two-year-old, and then a five-year-old. Um, my next oldest from that point up would be eight and up, and they all do really, really well. They sit in church, and they listen, and they bring their Bibles. The older ones will write in their notebooks if they need to or want to, um, and they sit there and listen to the pastor, and they're really quiet, and they're really good. So um, that's just, you know, this time, this season of life that we're in right now, we're, we're training them, and we want them to listen to the pastor so he can teach us about God's Word. And um, that's, you know, obviously more important in the end. So um, now I'll just pull out what we brought last Sunday and show you um, kind of what's in our bag. Okay. I always, always, always carry a blanket with me. Always. <laughs> Um, because I either usually have a little one um, who might get cold, or maybe they're sleepy, um, or they brought a baby doll, which is what my daughter does, um, and she wants to sit there and, and hold it like mommy does um, in church, or whatever. Or maybe they get cold and they want to get covered up. I don't know if I said that. So that is always a good thing to bring. These are just um, one of those swaddling blankets, and I, again, swap those out every couple weeks or maybe every weekly if it got dirty or something got spilt on it or just needed washed, baby spit up on it, whatever. I um, And I, I usually bring two because I have three little ones under under five that I'm really, really focused on right now that I'm really working hard on on their training. So this is the one that we brought last Sunday. I love, love, love these kinds of blankets. If you have a little one, you must get one of these. You can also make them yourself. Um, really, really easy to do, and there's so many options at that point. Okay, the next thing that we brought this Sunday was a baby doll. Um, my little two-year-old, she absolutely loves babies right now. She's just all about that. And my five-year-old, he isn't as interested in them as much as she is. <laughs> so I only needed to bring one of those, and she has a ton of them, so we just bring... Um, try to change it up if we can, but it's usually what she's bringing with her already. Um, I try to bring the ones that are quiet, that don't make any sound, or that if I can get in there and turn it off, if it does make sounds before she realizes or figures it out that it, she could turn it back on, um, then I will try to get that before she realizes it. Otherwise, it's a really quiet toy and she loves it. She wants to sit there like mommy does. Mommy holds the baby. Mommy nurses the baby. Mommy plays with the baby. And that's what she wants to do. She's, she's all about that right now. Okay. Next in our bag that we brought. Um, yeah. Oh, I got them all, all three at the same time. Um, okay. So we just brought, um, 
just little stuffed animals. Nothing, nothing big this time, nothing major. Um, just to change it up a little bit so the five and the two year old could play with each other. And then I brought another one, um, in case, um, my one year old wanted to play as well. This we've had for a long time. It's just a little bear from Dollar Tree. Um, and it, it was a fun toy to play with at the time. Um, this is a fox, and I think we got this from the zoo in Nebraska. I'm not sure. It was all in one piece, and then my dog decided to get a hold of it when we got home and tore the nose on it. So I am going to have to fix him back up and get him going again because he is a very, very loved toy. I'm sure that you have little ones that just love playing with certain stuffed animals. This is one that I just threw in to kind of change up a little bit. My one-year-old played with it um, for a little bit, and it's just one of those like little beanie-type babies or something like that, little dogs. Um, and then I usually swap those out, throw them in the wash. And when I mean dog, um, if this is the dog I mean, he is just, he loves digging holes. First, I, I don't get it. We are constantly repairing holes. Um, Right now he has a tennis ball <laughs> right under there, so he's decided to try to dig it out. So I'm going to shoo him away so he doesn't jump on me and get that tennis okay, ball out. Okay, um, let's see. I have a, just a little book here. Our stickers are still stuck to it. Um, I have, <laughs> can I see that? Can I show them real quick what that book is? Okay, so this is just a, a little book I threw in for my five and my eight-year-old, um, just in case they needed a little something there at the end to kind of keep them um, keep them going strong here. It's just a Hidden Pictures. I think I picked it up at Dollar Tree for a dollar, and hey, those books there are really good I ideas, you guys. Different kinds of workbooks and different... Um, you know, just fun little activity books and, and little books that they can do. And they only cost you a dollar a piece. So um, it keeps them, you know, keeps their little hands busy is, is mostly what we're looking for here. And it's funny because my son can can play with maybe some cars he brought. And he'll just sit there quietly through the entire service and just play with his cars. And, and then I worry. I'm like, oh, well, I you know, that's great that he was quiet, but... You know, is he getting anything? Is he, is he, did he hear maybe what the pastor said? Or did he learn a new song? Or, you know, is he, what's going on in his mind, you know? And then we'll get home, we'll get to talk and maybe di uh, at dinner time, you know, hey, what did you, what did you learn in church this morning? Or what did you get from it? Or do you remember the verse or whatever? And he'll tell you every single thing the pastor said. Or maybe the song that, one of the songs that we sang or something like that. So even though, Sometimes they're not looking at that pastor all the time. Sometimes they get it, and that's, I don't know, sometimes that they amaze me. Okay, <sighs> next in our bag, let's see, we've got a couple of stickers, and let's see, some of the stuff came off of here. Um, so... I always, stickers are a really, really good thing. As long as, as long as you can keep up with them. You don't want them sticking stickers on the people in front of you or um, <laughs> whatever. I'll, I'll show you usually what happens when we get stickers. But um, usually I have a notebook and or some kind of little activity book. I try to change it up. Uh, or even a sticker book, and they can just peel the little stickers off and just stick them on. The, it's just fun. I, you could go to Dollar Tree and pick up like a hundred of them for a dollar, or go to Walmart. They've got big, you know, like value packs of stickers. Okay, so let's see what else um, we have in here. Um, oh, I'll pull these out real quick. Um, so these are just little packs with. I've got two crayons, two colored pencils. This one is actually missing one. Um, it's probably in our bag somewhere. A pad of paper that we actually got from the summer reading program um, this past summer. And a stencil, one of those. Um, actually, we got that from the, um, the summer reading program as well. I just took one activity page and just folded it up. Something it's something for them to, you know, what is that? Let's let's pull that out and and unfold that and see what that is. Um 
I did have them in the, the Ziploc, the gallon bags, but they are so much louder, so I had to find something different, and I'm still going to change this. This is just what I did last Sunday. I'm going to use one of those zipper pouches or something, pick those up when the school supplies go on sale, and swap this stuff and put them in there. Otherwise, this is um, definitely, you want to bring just a little something for them to, to do. They Sometimes they'll put their stickers and stuff and all those pads of paper, and um, the little bags are much quieter than the gallon bags, so you could try that if you wanted. I have two of those. I had one for my two-year-old and one for my five-year-old, and there's different colors in each one, and they can share if they want, and they each have their own piece of paper. So that was fun, huh? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see what else um, we have in there. Oh, okay, so these right here, I got these, I think, at the, no, I got these at Walmart um, for like 80 or 96 cents, something like that, and sometimes my little ones will be on this for like the whole service, and then sometimes they don't want anything to do with them, or sometimes they'll use them for a phone. Anyway, um, so those are um, really, really good toys to bring, wow. and... Yeah, so cheap, and, and I swap them out every now and then, but they're pretty much a favorite. And um, even my older ones want calculators um, okay, just to have so them. So the next couple things that I brought are these little baby toys. I have a one-year-old. Our, our diaper bag is actually full of baby toys, but I threw these in with our church bag um, so that I'm only bringing just a couple. I can't bring my purse the diaper bag and the church bag. I can, but my bag, my purse is just as big as this church bag because that's how I like them. And I need them that big. And anyway, so I usually bring the diaper bag for the cups, the diapers, and the, um, the snacks, which I really try to avoid because I don't like crumbs and stuff. I don't want to ever leave crumbs behind, but sometimes I have them as a backup or if I just need to, you know, maybe somebody's not feeling good or or for the baby or whatever to kind of help get them through that hour and a half long service. Um, anyway, so I have a couple of toys that I just kind of keep in there. These are actually um, pacifier holders, but um, somebody gave them to me, I think, or I might have got them online. And anyway, we never use them. Even if we did, we wouldn't use this kind. We use um, a different kind of binky that these don't fit. And my one-year-old didn't even take a binky this time. So um, these, we just tie them together, and he just plays with them. Um, this I will not be bringing because it was just too loud. <laughs> it was okay for my one-year-old, but then, um, yeah, so my one-year-old <coughs> could play with it really well. Bless you! But my... Once my two-year-old got a hold of it, it was so loud. So I will not be bringing okay. this. Um, this wasn't really played with that much, but um, it worked for about 20 minutes or so. This little thing is just, I fill these up with, yeah. I fill these up with just random little toys every now and then. These little ducks we actually got from the summer reading program. And um, they are so cute and my two-year-old just loves playing with them, and so does my one-year-old. Do you want that? Do you want that? <laughs> um, anyway, so these little containers I picked up at the Dollar Tree, two for a dollar, and they're they're pretty much quiet. I, I haven't had any problems with them. Um, my And the reason why I haven't had any problems with them is because my two-year-old can't open them. And so I have to do it so I can open them a little bit quieter than she can so I will just fill them with different things, just odd different different things. And they're like, what is in that box? And they'll pull them out and they'll be like, oh, okay. And then they'll play with them. So it, it helps keep little hands busy. And um, she can take them in and out and close the lid and all that good stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh, yep. Here's just another little little toy that he can, or holder, I guess you would say. Um, let's see. This are just, I definitely put books in there every time, at least two or three, and it works like a charm. They love books. We're big readers around here. So I changed those up. These are just the little read-alongs um, from Disney and Sesame Street, but um, these are great for little hands, and they are very well used, as you can tell, 
and they she'll just my two year old will just sit and look at them and just look at them and talk about them and and she's actually really good when it comes to books. So for right now, books are working for us, and so I'm definitely going to keep doing that. Um, it's funny because I have all three of them here with me right now, and they are all playing with everything. It's like they don't even uh, remember that we had them last Sunday. I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, so, oh, here's another blanket that we have. This is just um, another blanket that I use. I actually made this one for my five-year-old when he was little. Um, and it's held up really well. It's been to many, many church services. Yeah. Yep, she just likes opening and, and putting them in there. And it just keeps her little hands busy. She loves it. Okay, so this I'm not going to pull out because it's going to get messy. But this is just um, a cracker package that got put in there instead of the diaper bag but normally I don't leave the snacks and stuff in here because I know the little ones are going to be playing in here and I like I said I don't want um crumbs and just you know munch 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 <laughs> I don't want the sound and all that stuff um but but if you were going to have something you want something quiet like like the Ritz crackers because they're kind of soft you know when they bite into them and stuff like that so if you are going to have something that works really well raisins those work really well too but you got to make sure that um they don't you know get dropped and roll under the next person's seat or something okay like so that. this is the bag that we've used for a really long time um i try to change it up a little bit if especially if i need to wash this one um i bought this for like i think it was like 12 or 13 dollars online and um i will leave that link if i can remember who it was if i can find it. What? I will leave that link at the bottom. <gasps> Did you find something to put in there? Yeah, she can't open it. So, um, <laughs> would you like me to open it? No. No? You're going to try to do it? Keep trying. You can do it. <laughs> okay, anyway, and it's just, it washes up really well. It's yeah. really durable. Yeah, you've got the duckies. Um, it washes up really well. And, um, so, uh, yeah, I'll leave the link for that. So this is what we brought last Sunday. Um, mostly everything here works really well, um, for, <laughs> for quiet toys, except for this one. So I'll just try to remember not to bring this because that's all we heard the whole time. And yeah, that didn't um, and work. And also I will leave the link for these. I think I remember now where I got those from, um, or close to it. And if you're interested in those, you might really like those. But um, the little ones love just playing with them like they are. So um, this is the um, the star in the heart. And then this is the Mickey, bless you, the Mickey Mouse. Um, and it says happy. And they're really cute. We didn't use them for their purpose, but they still get played with them either way. Isn't that right? Do you want them? <laughs> um, okay, so this is what we brought last Sunday. And um, I guess thanks for watching. Putting the stickers on there? Yeah. Oh, on the pad of paper? Yeah. Oh, so much fun. How many do you have? Two, two, five. Two, two, five. How yes. about one, two, three? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, and you got some more? How much fun.